Welcome to Wargroove. Let's continue with our awesome PvP matchup. That's some scary stuff, but that's okay because what are they missing? Alchemists! They have absolutely no alchemists whatsoever, so I can just go ahead and make that harpy. Great. Alright. Now, this unfortunately will stop all my plans of pikes being useful. However, 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 I can definitely get some good pike lines going. Okay, I don't want to tack into this and die. Even if I go here and get that good, good groove charge, I'm probably dead. So let's back up just a teensy bit. Yeah, just, just a teensy bit. We'll back up a teensy bit. Make it so it is not easy to attack me. But you can in turn be attacked. Great. Now let's keep denying them that 100 gold every turn. Hmm. They have a lot of things that can attack this position. However, all of those things will die to a trebuchet. So, seeing as I will win out, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Cool. That'll make them waste a lot of time trying to fix that. Now, this knight, unfortunately, can do some pretty scary things. So, let's find ways around that. I'm just going to... Whoa. Whoa, I can't click. Whoa. Got frozen for a second there. That was scary. All right. Now, we're just going to... Just gonna, let's see, well, what's your range? Okay, so I could plop somebody, like, right, right there. Next to that guy. You should be good. Just to scare away that knight a little bit. Well, frozen again. Oh, that keeps happening. That's no good. Okay, uh, honestly, if the knight attacks my alchemist on a mountain and I kill it with the trebuchet, even if I lose this, I still feel like it's worth it. But I, I, I just want to be a little bit careful. I don't want to get wiped out here. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll be a little reckless. We'll go in a little bit. Just a little bit. Start moving in, pressing in on my opponent. Alright, I really need that bow, so we're going to make the bow. Because we're, we're advancing. And uh, I, I really don't want to build another sword. Like I said, they're not that useful except for body blocks on this map. I don't want another sword. I don't want to miss a build, but I don't want another sword. What do I do? Alright, we're gonna save our money. We're gonna save our money. Sometimes you gotta miss a build. Now it looks like I'm 200 income ahead, but let's be real, that's not really true. I, I'm not 200 income ahead. I'm not. They can take this back pretty easily. The thing is though, I'm defended by a treb. So are they going to attack my pike? I don't know. You see, they got it back, we're even on income again. The only real effect taking that did was I made them lose 100 gold, and they're going to lose 100 gold every single turn until they can stop me from doing this. This treb exists to do the opposite, to deny me 100 gold every turn. But since I have these pikes putting pressure here, the treb can't really make it. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to inch it slowly and inch their units up, try to scare me off. Eventually, they will get into position to do exactly to me what I'm doing to them. But in the meantime, if I can like do enough damage and like completely cover this mountain and pikes will be okay eventually i'm gonna have to get ragna to the other side of the map because i'm weak here i don't want to fight here this is bad for me them coming to me over here is a-okay oh look a free archer kill yeah i can kill that archer an archer is worth 500 gold an alchemist is worth 400 gold an alchemist does a lot of damage to the archer and will kill it on crit. If they don't block that space, I could win a hundred gold trade and destroy that archer. Which is pretty good for me. I think I'm gonna do it. Great. Now they have to deal with this unit, and even if they kill it, that was worth it. That was so worth it. Alright. This treb is doing great work. I say let it keep doing great work. Now let's focus over here. Dark Mercia is about to get Groove, and that scares me. And this Treb, uh, notice they have crit on me. I can't stay here. I'm in danger. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I take one step back, I'm in trouble. I I I'm going to start losing pressure. Oh my goodness, what do I do? So 
I really have no choice but to go to, to back up a bit and heal my commander. Now, I'm actually okay with being knight crit, because if they do that, they'll lose the knight. Think about it. And Dark Mercia can't attack me if the knight is attacking me. Duh. Strategy, right? So we'll switch things up a bit, because I still want to guard that space so the Treb can't come back there. And I'll have my pike line ready and raring to go. Now my harpy will also come down, scaring the living crap out of them, because they have no anti-air. They can't deal with this at all, which is great for me. My pike line will very slowly start advancing. Actually, I'm going to make use of this wagon to make them advance a teensy bit faster. Great. And little Mr. Blockade unit can just stay there. That's fine. All right, we're going to move like this. Now, do I try to take this again? I mean, there's really no benefit to taking it. They can just keep taking it back. And I really don't want to get wrecked by all these pikes. So we're going to retreat. We're going to retreat a little bit. Even, I think, my alchemist is going to retreat just a little bit. Nah, we could keep the alchemist there. I've got some good ranged units here. Okay. Um, I don't want Dark Mercia to be able to stand on a mountain and attack something, so you go over here. And you go here. Great. Now we've got to hurry up and build before our turn ends. Um, pikes! Alchemist! Pike! Ah, crap! Running out of time! No! <laughs> More alchemists, because I'm running out of those, and yes, I can afford one more pike. Done! All right, everybody's in position. Great, great job. This is an epic game so far. All right, so Dark Mercia has more groove than me, but I'm not that far behind. As long as I'm close, we're pretty much okay, because remember, I'm up on units, and even though we're quote-unquote even on income, they have to put something in my Treb's path every turn or they lose 100 gold. So I'm making that 100 gold every turn. Every turn! Now they're moving their treb to combat my treb, and since I don't have a knight, I'm going to have a hell of a time dealing with this. If they take the center, I could be in some real trouble. But look, they backed off. They backed off here. So now I need to immediately respond and move these units down, or I will lose what is called tempo. Tempo is putting pressure on your opponent in a way that controls how they take their turn. As long as you're winning, you should keep applying tempo. You should keep applying pressure and control and attacking. Not recklessly, not stupidly, but smartly and as much as humanly possible so that they can't recover. But these wagons, Dark... Oh, that really hurt. Dark Mercia has some incredible front-switching power. It's been enabling her to go back and forth repeatedly. She's just been doing it too much. Ooh, that was risky. That was really risky. Did they just give me a free knight? I might be able to get a free knight. You see, with my trap position and this archer and all these pikes and this alchemist, I have a very wide range of things I can just attack at will. And it's very beneficial for me to do so. I will. Like, a knight, that's 600 gold. All right, so you see what they did. They wanted to stop my crit. They put this here. They saw, oh, crap. The pikes can get it, and they put that there. But it's not enough. The archer can get it. The catapult can get it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the pike kill this, and then I'm going to use this wagon to move another pike, and it's a whole song and dance. You'll see. All right. First things first, an alchemist is definitely worth half a treb in terms of gold, and weakening a treb is infinitely valuable because it slows them down. Boom. I'm going to do that. No question. Now, um, well... That's got to go. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? Okay, so... Yeah, we'll probably use the treb. Probably use the treb. I want to make that definitive, and they can keep that for one more turn. Cool. Now this wagon has got to do its duty. So I'm going to move it all the way back up here. Oh, I can't make it. You can't make it? Well, oh well. Live and learn. Okay, now we're going to get into crit position and start attacking. Cool. And I think, should I finish him off? 
I might finish him off. This, this, this blob here scares me a little bit. I don't like it. I don't want to move into it. I don't want that pike to recover either. And there are only so many things that can hurt this alchemist. But that alchemist is definitely dead. And I don't want to lose both of them. So, we'll wait on that. Now, since they've refused to build any kind of anti-air, I'm just going to charge forward with this harpy and just, just go crazy. I don't think they can kill me, but I don't have enough time to do the math. So, we're going to be a little, a little bit careful there. Just a little bit. All right. Um, yeah, I won't attack with Ragna per se, I just want her in position to attack. Good. Alright, and we've got another pike that we can move down. I, I, I kind of want to just put a lot of pressure here, because I, I don't think Dark Mercy can really stop me if I do. But it's risky, I mean, I'm winning, there's no reason to. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Now I need another fast-moving unit to join the fray. And I'm almost out of time already! Dang it! Alright, I want a Warlock. And, um, crap. More pikes. More, more. Um, can a pike make it there? No, it can't. Alright, fine, just give me a sword. I want a sword because I'm running low on time. For no other reason. Alright. You can technically hit me, but you're in trouble if you do. I want to kill that pike so very badly. I think I will, just because I've decided to use pressure as a weapon. And, you know, yeah, we'll get out of the way of the archer. Okay, good, done. Great. So I've chosen to put a lot of my units in jeopardy because my opponent made a few mistakes. Now, I could be making the exact same mistake, but look at the math here. Their treb is really weakened. My commander and their commander are both in the fray. Ooh, yeah, Dark Mercy can get grooved by assassinating the alchemist. That's fine. But that, that sword took a lot of damage from that. And honestly, Dark Mercy can't do too much right now in this position. They've got a weakened Treb, a Gone Knight. They have nothing to combat this Harpy. They finally made some anti-air, but is it too late? Could be, because those are mountains, and Harpy crits everything on mountains, and you need to get that Alchemist here. Yeah, see, that, that barely did anything. That's why you always want to... That's why that trade was very worth it. Just look at the unit count. I'm still ahead. Haha, <laughs> double Alchemists. They're really scared of this Harpy now. Not having anything that can fight a harpy is a terrible idea. Alright. <clears throat> now, I started this attack, but to be completely honest, I'm not sure how to finish it. Everything I see on the board is a pretty even trade. It could even put me in danger. They're kind of closing on units a bit, even though I did some good damage. Alright. So, I think I know what I want to do. I want to push on the right. By weakening that just enough, I can start an attack that will enable me to do some pretty good things over here. See how much damage I just did to everything in sight? Even if Dark Mercy gets Groove and comes over here to help, there is not a lot going on. Now they can and probably will kill my Archer. I've got to watch out for that. But look, they've got almost nothing to fight me with now. So I need to make sure that the fight stays over here and doesn't come over here so that I can keep my lead. One of the reasons I built a sword is I just wanted some kind of body to throw at this problem. As much as possible. Everything as much as possible because I've chosen to attack and I want to keep my tempo going. Alright, so there's a lot of good stuff I can do. I just want to make sure I can't be hit by any of those guys. I'm both blocking the road and hurting this unit. Great stuff. Let's take that guy out of the problem here. Um, yes, doing the math, they do not have enough to kill me, which is obviously super important. And I have a backup wagon ready to go just in case. Great! The enemy is surrounded and not in a great position. I'm going to use the sword to attack this alchemist, because the gold differential is very worth it. Um, 
Uh, do I win this trade? Yes, I win this trade, so I want to press forward. You don't have a wagon, buddy. That's okay. All right, now, really quick, I lost my archer, so I want to replace it, but I don't have enough time. So I'm going to build another warlock instead. Um, over here... Ah, crap, I'm just going to make more trebs and another wagon. Because that, that guy needs to get to the front. Okay. Done. Pretty good. Pretty good. When you choose to attack, you have to make sure the counterattack won't kill you. Or leave you worse off than when you started. Even if Dark Mercia grooves here, I can definitely survive. If I get attacked by enough melee units, I'll have groove. I'm winning on the right, and Dark Mercia can go over here and groove to interfere. But it won't be enough to turn the entire tide of the battle. And also, if that happens, Ragna can follow her, trap her, and keep the attack going. These alchemists are too far away, and they're getting threatened off by various units I have in position, so it's going to be hard for them to advance. Like, I can kill this alchemist with one, two pikes. And right now, since pikes are worth, two pikes are worth a total, a grand total of 300 gold, it's worth it, even if I lose both pikes. So I want to take them out of the fight. And that's what Wargroove is all about. Make good trades. Make good trades. When you attack, you want to make a good trade. If you attack recklessly, think, okay, I'm attacking recklessly, but even if I lose all of my units, I want the trade to be worth it. That's how you've got to think. Really, they should, like, move the pike here, heal it, and then use this pike to... Yeah, there we go. That was the right play. And now they have an archer. I don't... Their pikes are in position, trying their best to heal some units there. What? What happened? What was that? That was weird. Is that like a bug? Oh, they have no money. Duh. All right, now th this trebuchet is, is in a very bad spot. It's either got to protect it or I'm just going to wipe it out. They, they've done a pretty good job trying to recover after that turn. I mean, look at this. The unit count is almost even. Even though I had a great attack, the unit count is almost even. My troops are, are, are near wiped. Managed to hit my commander, which was very important for this attack. My pike line has been decimated. This isn't great for me. Was my attack a failure? I don't know. We're gonna find out. All right. So, first things first, we've got to do as much damage as humanly possible. Um, and let us... let us see... Yeah, like I said from the off, I want that gone. Great. Okay, can you kill this for me? That's not guaranteed. Can I kill it for me without dying? <laughs> That's the real question. The answer is, I don't know, but I think I can. And that will give me groove. So, as long as I... No, 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 Alchemist can stand here and crit me. Ooh, ooh, that was close. That was very close. Can't let that happen. Oh, I can't kill it. I really can't kill it. Alright, I'm gonna have to use weaker units to take this thing out. Unfortunately. And we'll advance. I'm kind of ignoring their commander, because... Well, why shouldn't I ignore their commander? <laughs> I've got no reason to pay it much mind. Alright, uh, let's let's do a series of pseudo-smart things here. I'm running out of time, and I need to make me some plays. That's at the max range you can attack at. You can take this out. Do it. Great. Fantastic. Attack from the more powerful position. Take him out. Boom, alright. Notice I'm just focusing on doing as much unit damage as humanly possible. I want to do lots and lots of unit damage. I want them to have no units to attack me with. That's my goal. Alright. Alright, we're doing pretty good. I think I want to get Ragna out of here. I, I just don't like the current position next to that crit happy alchemist. But at the same time, at the same time, I want her sort of close to the fight, so... Eh, decisions. But I'm almost out of time, and I can't do the math, so I'm going to play it as safely as I can. Move Ragna here. 
these guys are going to retreat so that they can heal up. Uh, I'm running out of money. Running out of money. They're running out of money and time. That suggests to me that I should probably build another harpy. And some trebs. Ah, time. No. no, I ran out of time. Ah, you're racing the clock. Racing the clock. That's okay. I almost have groove, and look at this beautiful advance. Just, just look at that unit count difference. We are 12 ahead of our opponent. Admittedly, one of them is this property, and Dark Marcia can probably kill something and get more groove power, but that's okay. I am 5% from groove. If Dark Marcia could attack me, and I, I don't even think she can, all that would do is give me the ability to groove right here and now. Alright, we're in a pretty good position, and that's all for today's episode. If you take a look at the map, the main lesson for today was how to attack. Whenever you attack, you want to make a good trade. If you're sacrificing your unit in the attack, make sure the damage you're doing is worth more gold than the unit you're losing. And when you choose to commit to an attack, focus on building lots of very fast, mobile attacking units so they can join the fight. Don't let up, keep the pressure on, start tempo, and give your opponent no room to recover. That's the best way to make a successful attack. Now let's see if we can close out the game in the next video. Stay tuned, and welcome to Wargroove.